appreciate you all coming around. My name is Dave Neese. I'm in uh, North American Sales for Gorilla Glass, now Gorilla Glass 2. And uh, I want to take just a few minutes of your time to talk about what's new. I mean, hopefully we can get a little volume up on this. But I'll try and speak very loud so that you can all hear. Ting, ting. <laughs> all right. It's on. Are we on here? Let me move this up real quick here. You guys hear me better now? Yeah. How's that? All right. Do the World War II pilot thing. Okay. Good. So once again, thank you for coming around. So Gorilla Glass is everywhere. Thin is in. That's, that's the new thing with Gorilla Glass 2 that I'm going to talk to you about here today. So we had a press release a couple weeks ago. We had 575 devices out there, di different models of uh, devices, over 550 million devices. Well, that information is obsolete. We're at 600 unique device models out there, 600 million devices in the field as I stand here and talk to you today. So just significant proliferation and adoption of customers and brands out there of this wonderful cover glass. So Gorilla Glass 2 is, is uh, exceptional. It's a, a wonderful new version of our Gorilla Glass that enables you to go up to 20% thinner in cover glass. It offers better transmission performance for brighter displays and enhanced touch sensitivity and accuracy. So it really optimizes that touch experience. And as we walk around the floor, we can tell touch is everywhere, whether it's smartphones, tablets, other devices out there here today. So before I start, and, uh, we go into Gorilla Glass 2 and really give you that benchmark comparison, because I know the first thing on every one of your minds is, what's new? What's different? Right? And I'm going to go into that here in just a second. Let's flash back to last year. Do I have a volunteer? I need somebody to come up here and help me break glass who wasn't at CES last year. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Come on up here. All right. I didn't want to bore, you know, so you can't show the same thing twice, right? So if any of you, you know, were, were here last year, we're going to do a pared down version of that. So come on up here. Sharif? Yeah. Yes, David, nice to meet you there. Okay, so Sharif has, has wonderfully volunteered to show us the basic damage resistance capability of, of different cover glasses out there today. So I've got three cover glass samples here. These are each 1.1 millimeter thick. Okay, you can put your hand out. they got plastic around it right there. Okay. And basically what we've done is we've, we've abraded these on the back side to simulate a little bit of infield usage out there, okay? So I'm going to take this non-strengthened soda line, tee that up first. Again, that's 1.1 millimeter. Give you this very cool stylus here. There's a little target on it. I just want you to push down until it breaks. If it breaks, I don't know. Oh, it breaks. Easy, right? That was very easy. Okay, so he just not even breaking a bead of sweat there. All right, let's take it up a notch and go to strengthened soda line. So that's 1.1 millimeter thick strengthened soda line. Tell me how that feels. A little bit tougher, he says. So yeah, okay. I you were kind of pushing down a little bit harder there, putting a little more pressure on it. Okay. Finally, so this is Gorilla Glass, not Gorilla Glass 2. Okay. So let's take a look and benchmark it once again. This wonderful cover glass that's been uh, featured on so many different devices out there today. Pretty, pretty tough, huh? <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Now you're breaking a sweat and you got a new vein on your forehead, so congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much for coming on up here. Okay, that's a quick flashback to last year. Again, thank you so much, Sharif, for your, for your help. So I'm going to ask my lovely assistant, Kevin, to come up here real quick. And we're going to do, that's, that would be you, yes. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't rehearse the whole lovely thing, but you know, I figured I'd throw that in. It's still morning time. All right, so Kevin has agreed to uh, come up willingly and be a, a, a wonderful demo model for uh, a benchmark comparison of Gorilla Glass with Gorilla Glass 2. So once again, we've got, we've got a new fancier device here. It's, it's not as good looking as Sharif, but it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And what we've got, we've got a device that basically exerts pressure and force on a sample of glass. Okay, this is a ring-on-ring -ring test. These have been abraded in the same fashion as we did with these previous samples here. And we're going to start out with a 1.1 millimeter thick non-strengthened soda line. That first one that Sharif went through very easily. So I can ask Kevin to tee that up. And what you're going to see here on this little readout is a display, we've got it up on the screen here so you can see it as well. Okay, this will read out in pounds force, okay? So Kevin, if you will, go at it. All right, let's see how, any guesses what this will break at? Two. Oh my gosh, that's pretty low. Let's see what it breaks at, go ahead. The suspense is killing me. Oh, okay, 51 he got it down to. One finger, that was, that was pretty easy. Was that easy? I'm speaking for you. Pretty easy. Okay, he says it's pretty easy. All right, let's take it up a notch. Let's go strengthen soda line at 1.1 millimeters. Let's see what happens now.